Hey everyone, so I know today's makeup is very intense, I just wanted to get that out of the way. I was just playing around and I ended up with a really deep dark black smoky eye. I think I suit natural makeup. Let me know what you guys think down below. I was just trying something new. Let me know what you think anyway. So today we're going to be filming my favourites for the month of February, which for me was a rather busy month. I... I uh, was trying to spend as much time as I could enjoying the holidays. I found a teaching job. It is only temporary, but that's probably why lately you have been seeing some videos missing here and there. I haven't actually filmed in what feels like a really long time. I'm just very, very busy and very, very stressed out at the moment, so forgive me if I'm absent. I'm trying my very, very hardest. But anyway, let's get right into the favourites. So we're going to start off with my favourite movie, and I saw quite a lot of movies in this past month, actually. My favourite would have to be... Probably Fifty Shades of Grey. I really, really did enjoy that movie. I thought it was great. I read the books a long time ago and I don't know, I just really liked the movie. I thought it was awesome. Some people were really negative and it's like, what did you expect? It's Fifty Shades of Grey. I thought it was really good. And if you're over 18, I definitely recommend you that you watch it. And if you're under 18, I definitely recommend that you do not watch it because it is very, very, like... Hello! My favourite TV show of the month of February is an absolute no-brainer. It is American Horror Story. Corpo and I watched, well I watched season one alone uh, and then I think kind of at some points during it he kind of realised that it was like going to be interesting so we watched season two together and we haven't watched any more of it yet because it's not on Lightbox so if Lightbox if you're watching, Spark, please add season three and four of American Horror Story because that gave me life while I was watching it. My favourite game of the month has been a somewhat rediscovered game and it is Sims 4. I really really enjoy it. Uh, I just recently purchased it. I obviously have played the other Sims games and all that and I really really like it. I thought it was amazing. I think it's amazing rather. It's just got so much to it and if you guys are into gaming Sims 4 will be good if that's your kind of cup of tea. I think it's definitely my favourite Sims game so far. There's some stuff missing from it that they need to put in but I do definitely think it's really cool. And my favourite YouTuber this month is a lesser known New Zealand YouTuber. Her name is Hannah Carson and she is absolutely amazing. I love her videos. I actually had the pleasure of meeting her and working with her recently on a Maybelline project which I wish I could tell you guys more about but I can't unfortunately but yeah she is so lovely her video quality is like amazing and I 110% recommend that you go ahead and check out her channel which I will have linked off down below. So now into my beauty and makeup favourites. The first product is the Loving Tan which is ironic considering I am pale right now but I love this stuff. I have actually been meaning to mention this for like months and months and months but because I keep this in the bathroom I keep forgetting to include it. So this is the Deluxe Bronzing Mousse in Dark because I'm too afraid to use Ultra Dark but I just love this stuff. I haven't used it, I'm gonna confess, I haven't used this in a couple of weeks because I have just been, as I said, very very busy and um, I find it hard to commit to fake tanning but throughout the months of like December and January this has been like my BFF. It is so good, it lasts a really long time it is very natural looking. The only con to it is that it is quite hard to remove, but I do really, really love this. If you guys want, I have got a coupon code posted for you down below. I'll put it on screen as well, and I'll write down below what you get with the coupon code. But yeah, I do really love this product, and I am really interested in trying their like instant like three hour tan. So if you've tried that, let me know how that is. Next, I'm gonna go on with something that is also kind of random for me, and it's a favorite perfume. And this is the Killer Queen by Katy Perry. I seriously, freaking love this. I don't wear perfume that often. If you guys have watched me before you know that I am really bad at applying perfume. I talk about it occasionally. I don't like to admit it but I'm really bad at applying a perfume. I forget to put it on in the mornings. I always put deodorant. Don't worry. But I forget to put on perfume. For me it's something that I do like if I have a little bit of extra time or if I'm going somewhere really nice. But lately I've been putting the effort in to apply perfume and this one is just so good. I also have C by Giorgio Armani that I got recently but this is more of like an everyday scent, but it reminds me of Flower Bomb like a lot. It just smells amazing and I love this and it does actually last a really long time. And it's quite affordable, which is good. And the bottle's beautiful, so you need to go and buy it. My next favourite is more of a public service announcement and it is the Garnier Micellar Cleansing Water. I'm going to be doing a full review video on this guy next week, so keep an eye out for that if you do want to see it. But this bad boy is finally available in New Zealand. This is my new bottle. It's beautiful. It's $12.99. Chances are it's sold out all across New Zealand or it's 
getting there because I've seen it posted on Facebook groups and when that happens stuff usually sells out but this is amazing I'm gonna stop talking about it and you can stay tuned to my review and demo of this but if you want to know any more about it maybe go and check my uh, skincare routine because I do think I mention it in there which I'll leave linked off down below. My next favorite is still in its box but I have definitely used it is the Benefit Roller Lash and if you guys recall a couple of videos back I was talking about a mystery mascara and in some videos I actually blanked out the audio it's because I wasn't allowed to talk to you guys about it. The mystery mascara that I've talked about recently was the Benefit Roller Curl or Roller Lash as some of you guys thought. I haven't opened this tube up yet because I want to keep it fresh but I have used the little sample to death. I keep it in my bag it's there at all times. This mascara is just amazing I swear this is my favorite mascara that I've ever tried in my entire life. This takes the real it takes the ZA one which I haven't used in a while because it dried out but it takes the position of like all of those mascaras because this just curls my lashes. I have naturally curly lashes I'm not wearing it today but if I was wearing it today my eyelashes would be so curled so like just amazing I love this mascara and it's easier to remove than the real so that just puts it a whole notch above because it's amazing so if you guys haven't tried this yet or if you have if you have let me know what you think down below but if you haven't I definitely recommend that you do go ahead and try it my next favorite is another oldie but a goodie but it is my L'Oreal true match foundation and this is in the shade n1 again I'm not going to talk too much about it but I just want to let you guys know that I am loving this again I have been wearing this a lot of the time I'm not actually wearing it today but this paired with my favorite powder which I'll show you in like a second is like a match made in heaven it gives me like really nice medium to full coverage and I just love it and it lasts all day like no fail I get home and it's like a little bit faded but it's mostly there and it's amazing so I love this foundation if you want to know more about it I will leave a link down below to my review video on it the powder that I'm speaking so highly of is the Astralis fresh and flawless powder I'm sure 90% of you guys who live in Australia or New Zealand already know this powder is amazing but I actually lost mine and I refound it recently and I have seriously been loving it this is in the shade natural and I'm really kind of PO'd this is the lighter shade like Astralis if you are watching bring out another color in this because this is not light if I dust it it works but you can see like it matches my body now but in the winter time I have no hope of it working so I'm really sad about that but for a summer powder for me or if you aren't ghostly pale this is a really 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 lovely lovely product that's going to keep your makeup lasting a really long time so her blush of the moment is the MAC warm soul which I'm wearing right now and it's just a beautiful kind of natural pinky bronzy blush I don't know how to explain it really I've had this for quite a while it's like a peachy pinky bronzy color that was a good explanation I feel but it just has this like oh, I don't know how to explain it <laughs> that was a really weird noise it's like an ethereal amazing glow from within sheen to it I do have it with a little bit of highlight on but even if you look down here kind of more towards my cheekbone it's just like oh it's beautiful it's such an amazing amazing product and if you guys don't own this from MAC you need to this is like a MAC must have in my opinion and it just looks great whether you're wearing like a black smoky eye like I am or if I was just wearing mascara it still looks amazing a product that I forgot to mention earlier when I was talking about face products is the Maybelline instant age rewind dark circles brightener product and I when I first got this I don't know if you guys know, I don't know if I talked about it, but I thought this was literally crap. I hated this. I wanted to like burn it. I was contemplating throwing it away because it's just like pink. Like if I swatch it, it's like pink. Like who the hell wants pink on their face? But I have actually really been loving this. I apply this underneath my foundation. So I'll prime my face and then apply it. Um, blend it out and then apply foundation and then a concealer on top and I find that it really does brighten my under eye for a lot longer like you guys can see my under eyes are really nice and bright even though my eye makeup is quite dark I feel like it's just the best way to kind of color correct that area for me because my dark circles have been so much worse lately because I've been really tired this has been literally my BFF and for my final favorite today I have got a ColourPop mention I just had to include this because I've been loving all of my ColourPop stuff but the thing that I've been using the most is my lippy stick in Lumiere which if you saw my haul you would know this was I think it was my least favorite one like but it's so beautiful it's just like this 
It's definitely a Kylie Jenner colour. It's more on the purple side, but it's just beautiful. The formula is amazing. I wear this to work and I work a, I think about an eight and a half hour day at work or eight hour day at work. And basically this lasts all day. I reapply it once after lunch and that's it. And it's still on like all day. It's amazing. This is a matte finish one, but I find that the satins wear pretty much just as well because they're basically the same texture anyway. You literally can't beat this for $5. Like, that was like one swipe or like a swipe and a swipe back and it's like so pigmented. But yeah, I love all the ones of these that I have, so I definitely recommend the ColourPop Lippy Sticks, but in particular the colour Lumia is like... To die for. So that is it for this month's favourites for the month of February. I really hope that you guys enjoyed. Please feel free to let me know down below what your favourites are because I always love to keep up to date with what you guys are loving and it also gives me ideas on what I need to buy as well. I am still working on my foundation first impressions. I've been meaning to film them before I go to work but when you get up at like seven o'clock and the sun is just rising it's not really appropriate to film them so I'll have to find another day to film my first impressions but they are coming don't worry if you do have any other requests feel free to pop them down below or any other comments that you may have I love you guys so much don't forget to give this video a thumbs up if you did like it and I will see you guys next time bye